So today what we're gonna do is cut a washer and dryer in half with thermite. I got a whole bunch of iron oxide and aluminum and we're gonna make some thermite and I'm gonna try a few experiments with it. All right, now the idea is to somehow light the thermite when it's already inside the washer, right before it goes on spin cycle. So the first thing we need to do is to get this thing to spin on spin cycle on demand. So as soon as we plug it in, automatically goes into spin cycle. We're tearing it apart, putting it back together, and then destroying it. Oops, so that was backwards, now I know. Now it should start to go fast. Now we need to remove the plastic drum that surrounds the metal drum inside the washer. Look on the inside, it's this drum that rotates around. You can see it right through there. So if we take this plastic piece off, this is about where it'll hit. This will help the thermite go directly against the walls of the washer. All right, so I'm gonna cut this pipe in half and we're gonna weld it to the inside of the washer. Once I'm done welding the pipe on the inside of the washer, I'm gonna put it all back together and I'll take it to my friend Travis's house because he's got a bunch of land and this is not very safe to do in the backyard or anywhere for that matter. So fire ex. First aid, Hawaiian shirt. We got everything we need. We have arrived at our destination. We've got a dryer, a washer. It's time to unload them. Here we are at my friend Travis's house, and this is actually the perfect property to do this experiment. His family owns a fireworks store. They sell the commercial stuff, you know, the big stuff. All right, so time to mix up the aluminum powder. Mix up the thermite. Thermite is by weight, one part aluminum and three parts iron oxide or rust. Hey, we gotta test and see if this stuff works or not. So to make sure that I mixed up this thermite good, we're just gonna, gonna test it out to see if it's the right consistency. We'll set it up. Now for the secret ingredient. Just kidding, it's glycerin. So first we add potassium permanganate and a little bit of glycerin. We should get about 30 seconds out of this. There we go. Okay, so the thermite reaction between aluminum and iron oxide gets to over 5,000 degrees Fahrenheit. That's because the aluminum is ripping the oxygen atoms off of the iron. That plane definitely saw it. Inside of this dryer we have, these are like two pounds of thermite each. So there's about 20, 30 pounds of thermite in here. And in this one, we've got these two metal pipes welded to the inside of this drum. And at the bottom of the pipe, there's a hole drilled. So when this drum spins around, the thermite will hopefully cut through the washer and cut it in half. Yeah, I'm gonna pull that. It's gonna spin for a little bit for 30 seconds, pause. And then I've got 20 seconds to put glycerin in each one to then go into spin cycle. Actually, let me show you what we're talking about. All right, so now's the moment of truth. Want me to start the thermite lighting? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is it dry on? That didn't turn out right. What happened? What, did all the power go out? No way. Well, that didn't work out exactly as I planned it would. Is it not spinning? No. I don't know what it did. I think the thermite was so hot it just straight up melted some kind of electrical connection somewhere because the washer and dryer stopped spinning as soon as we threw it in there. Oh, something else, something's happening. Even 
though it didn't work out exactly as I thought it would, it was still pretty cool. I've never let off that much thermite, and that was like 60 pounds of thermite. And I could feel the heat from like 100 feet away. It was crazy. So we couldn't cut the dryers in half with the thermite. So what we're gonna do is try to blow it in half with a huge firecracker. <laughs> no way! Dude! <laughs>